It's time for the game of the year in the Mountain West. It's time for Nevada, number 24th ranked in the nation, number one in the Mountain West, going on the road to Taco Bell Arena to face Boise State Broncos. This rivalry's been going on for quite a while, and it's always a big game, whether it's Nevada's number five and Boise's number eight, or whether Boise's number two and Nevada's number seven. But one versus two, the end of the year, this game is huge. Over 75% of the season's done, and um, this, this game has a big, big impact on the Mountain West Conference. The Wolfpack and Broncos will play King of the Mountain. Leon Rice, he uh, tried to get fans to fill Taco Bell Arena and so he walked across the freezing cold Boise River for the San Diego State game and against UNLV he rode a Bronco through uh, the campus to fill out the stadium. Leon Rice doesn't have to do anything to get people to show up to watch the 24th ranked Wolf Pack. This game's going to be great. Boise State is led by Chandler Hutchinson. He's a do-it-all phenom guard. Chandler Hutchinson's averaging 20 points a game, 7, almost 8 rebounds, 3.5 assists, and about 1.5 steals. He's one of only 8 players in NCAA Division I that is leading his team in points, rebounds, assists, and steals. He, In my opinion, he's the leader for MVP in the Mountain. And he's looking like a lock for a first round draft pick. Um, the Broncos aren't a one trick pony. Besides Hutchinson, they also have Chris Sangfelder. And he's he's a really tough big. Uh, when UNLV's dynamic duo of Brandon McQueen and Shakur Justin's matched up against him, Seinfelder's done very, very good against him. Right now, he's number two in points on the team, averaging 11. Point three points a game. He's averaging 6.7 rebounds through 13 conference game. And the last five games, well, in the last month, he's taken it to another level, averaging 15 points a game, seven rebounds per game. So he's a load, and he's Nevada's going to have their hands full with him. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see Jordan Caroline matched up against him. Um, and Taco Bell is a very tough place to win. No one's right now at Taco Bell. They're uh, on a 13-game home winning streak. It's the longest winning streak in the Mountain West. Uh, it's tied for 11th in Division One, and it's tied a school record that's lasted since 97-98. So. If they get one more win, if they beat Nevada, that'll be 14 and they'll break that record. Uh, one of the reasons Boise State's been such a good team this year is their ability to rebound the basketball. Um, the Broncos are number nine in Division One, with a 7.7 .7 average rebounding margin over their opponents. Uh, they beat Utah State in the Battle of the Boards Saturday 35 to 25 and it's the 10th game of the season that they've out rebounded an opponent by 10 or more unfortunately um, speaking of rebounding the Broncos are going to have to rebound from a loss in Logan they um, got more rebounds but at, at the end of the game Leon Rice is a gambler and he pressed the Aggies and the Aggies punished the Broncos press and they got a lot of cheap baskets at the end and Utah State ended up upsetting the Broncos and setting the spectrum off into a frenzy um, so one of the things that I've noticed when watching Boise State is when the game's close they put the ball in Chandler Hutchinson's hands Rice may be a gambler but he won't gamble when it comes to where the ball goes at the end. He's going to have the ball in Chandler Hutchinson's hand.
because Chandler Hutchinson has the ability to hit the three, he has the ability to hit the intermediate shots, and he's a great passer, and he's an unselfish player, and he'll hit the open man. Um, when he goes to the rack, he scores, especially when it's closing time. Chandler Hutchinson is the Mariano Rivera of the Mountain West. He is the ultimate closer. Luckily for the Wolfpack, they have a coach who's just as fiery as Leon Rice. And Nevada's taken on that personality of Eric Musselman. And because of that, the Pack has had an outstanding year. Right now, they're, the, their RPI is 15, their BPI is 19. They're, they're the 24th ranked team in the country. They have a strength of schedule of 87. Make no doubt. 75 five percent of the season's over Nevada is a lock to make the NCAA tournament right now they're not playing for a bid they're playing for seeding um, one of the reasons why Nevada is good is they like to push tempo they're uh, second in the Mountain West in scoring only behind UNLV at 83 points per game uh, Nevada can shoot the rock well from deep they hit 39 for six 39.6% pretty much 40% of their threes which is the 23rd best shooting team on the three for the NCAs but they're also good at run running their opponents off the line their opposition is shooting just 31% from behind the arc 21st in the NCAA so they shoot it good from deep and they keep their opponents from shooting good from deep Nevada when they lost to UNLV last week they were without their leading scorer Caleb Martin. Uh, Caleb Martin, it was suspected that he'd be out two to three weeks with a limbsick sprain in his left foot. But Caleb Martin showed that toughness, that Nevada toughness that um, Eric Musselman talks about. And he came back and played Saturday against San Diego State. He didn't really shoot the ball particularly well. He was only three for 12. But Caleb Martin, just the fact that he was there he had so much intensity for the Wolf Pack that that had to have helped his teammates. I mean, in in that game, the Pack treated you know the Aztecs who have played Nevada really tough for years. They treated the Aztecs like they were the San Jose State Spartans and blew them out of Lawler. So one of the reasons why Nevada is so good is that their starting lineup is just very. It's as strong a starting five as there is in the conference. Um, Martin, Caleb Martin averages 19.4 points a game. Cody Martin, his brother, averages 13.4 points a game. Uh, Jordan Caroline, the transfer from Southern Illinois, is averaging 17.1 points a game. And the Purdue transfer, Kendall Stevens, is averaging 13.1 points per game. So those four transfers are really... the you know that's the core for Nevada's starting five but don't discount Lindsey Drew he's a six foot five six foot four guard that can do it all he uh, was one assist short of a triple double against San Diego State um, these kids like to run Boise State likes to run I expect this game to be in the mid 80s to the low 90s unless the game goes to overtime and if it goes to overtime it'll probably be in triple digits uh, Magpies, three keys for the Wolfpack to win are, one, Nevada must answer Boise State runs and keep the crowd out of it. I've been to lots of BSU games, and I've always walked away impressed with how the Boise State fans, they cheer for their team. Taco Bell gets raucous. But the Bronco fans, just because they cheer, they're some of the most respectful fans I've ever been around in sporting events. But just because they're respectful, they're loud and boisterous, and the Broncos feed off that energy. So for Nevada to win, they need to keep the crowd out of it by answering runs. They need to keep, so then the lead to the second point. Nevada has to keep the Broncos off the offensive glass and limit their second chance opportunities. I've heard Coach Musselman preach it to his team many times, rebound, rebound, rebound. They must body up, box out, kick out, and push it. That's Nevada basketball. The pack must win the battle of the three-point shot. 
it's it's a tough task shooting good in a place where you only play once a year but they must hit the deep ball and defend against the deep ball Nevada must be aware of where Lexus Williams and Justin Jessup are all the time Williams is hitting for a 463 clip from deep and Jessup's hitting 454 from deep they can shoot the rock they're excellent shooters you have to stay up on them and make them shoot tough shots and they'll make tough shots because they're good shooters this is the biggest game of the year for both teams up to this point it's the biggest game of the year for the conference um, the winner of this game will have a nice uh, game to add to their resume Boise State needs this game much worse than Nevada Nevada's a lock Musselman won't tell his players that but 75% of the season's done they're in Nevada's in the NCAA tournament they're playing for seeding Boise State on the other hand their metrics aren't as good they're uh, 54th ranked in BPI they're in the 50s for uh, like Ken Palm too and so that kind of puts them on the bubble of the tournament a win against Nevada will give them a, another top 100 win that will boost their resume and it will strengthen their case possibly may get them off the bubble and as, as a lock I'm not positive but Boise State really would benefit a lot from this game it should be a great game I'm gonna go with a prediction of it's going in I, I think it'll go overtime I'm gonna go 107 to 105 the Nevada Wolf Pack is gonna win that's Magpie Waters and this is Nevada basketball